Welcome back y'all. We are up here in Canada at the cabin and we are ready to roll again on another day of fishing. Glad you guys are here. And my dad, he has tugged what he calls the mule all the way up here to Canada and that is his boat. That's his baby. And along the way, it's had a little trouble on this trip. So we get all the way up here and the batteries are not working. Luckily, neighbor Greg just happens to have two AGMs in the garage, brings them over and saves the day. But I have equipped my dad with something on this boat that he said he wanted to get into. He, he wanted to learn and that is the live scope. Now we're up here in the land of walleyes and we've already been playing around with it a little bit and just to see these, these walleye on the scope, it is awesome. You can see how big they are. You see how, how they're suspended. They're gnarly. We like catching these fish. Of course, they're delicious to eat, but you can catch some really big ones up here. We're gonna go full program. Use the crawlers, these big, juicy night crawlers, and we're gonna try pitching those on walleye. Show you guys these walleye on the screen and get dad into fishing live scope for really the first time. Show him how it works. And I think we're gonna catch some big walleye doing this. You guys, stay tuned. Never ever have we had so much gear in the boat and had boat up here. But today, y'all, this is, dad's gonna be learning how to use this. Unfortunately, we don't have a ton of power to it, but I think we'll last long enough. LFD, you ready to learn today? I am. The uh, electronics game is new to me. We got our crawlers right here, boys. Right kind of bait? Yeah. You're gonna be using these crawlers, buddy. Crawlers. I got a jig head ready to go on one of my rods. You can put a jig head on. Uh, Crawler and a jig head. Yeah, Let's do this thing. All righty, fishing freaks. We've made it to our fishing hole. Dad's getting rigged up right now. He's gonna put on a jig head with a crawler. You know, my dad's got this live scope set up, but he's never really use it to target individual fish and we've noticed that there's some uh, good size there's some big walleyes that are out here and you know around 15 foot just hovering around and we're going to try to capture some of those big ones good dad's pb wacky right there wacky style all right it's the actual wacky a live wacky all right then we got a got a power on the units get that going here Turn that baby on, gotta have that. All right, Dad. How far is he at? So you got your numbers right here. So you can see he's 28 foot there. Oh my gosh, he's a good one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. You got another one with him. Oh my, first cast. <laughs> can you believe that? <laughs> I can. Oh my gosh, he's taking drag. This, this must be a big one. Oh my gosh. He's huge. And he feels like a big old wet sock. Just take it easy on that little pole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he Look. came right over to that crawler, dude. It was like. I just mowed it down. 
<laughs> yeah, this looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, that, those were both good size ones. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Woo! What do you think about live scope? Hey, this is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so easy. Just flipped it out there and he just came up and whacked yeah, it. Yeah, I actually missed I missed the moment on the camera. I was trying to run both things, but I saw the, the fish coming and I just said, stop it, stop it. And he stopped it and the fish bonked it. Where's that net when you need it? There he is. He's coming. See him? Yep. Well, I did. He's working. Probably going to need the... Uh... There's a... Oh, oh, oh my gosh, he's huge. Look that's how a big good he one. Is. Yeah, that's a good one. Though. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if we can get this guy landed. Oh. Get his mouth right here. Just take it easy. Mouth one more time. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, Pop. Look on, at he's that. barely hooked. Hang on, hang on. He's barely. Let me put him back down for a second. Give me some slime. That's a dandy, Calvin. Woo! Uh, that's maybe my PB. Oh my God. We'll get a measure on that one, but look at that. <laughs> for your first cast with the uh, with the live scale. First cast. <laughs> he just whacked it. And that's a huge one. That I think that might be your PB. Yeah, so. I think so. Take that jig head out. Had him hooked perfectly. Oh. He's a 25. Well, he's right at 20. 24 and, and a half. half. 24 and a half. 24 and a half. So you caught a 26 the other day. So he's not quite as big. But that's that one's super girthy. He is. Very girthy. That's look awesome. Look at those eyes. He saw that worm coming. He's just, I'm going to eat that. Give me that. Nice catch, Pop. Let's throw All it right. back into Let the go. deeps. Yes. Down he goes. Good job. Thank you. That was you. a fun fight, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Isn't I'm going to cool? be humped over like this all day. You know, my, my dad's gotten this LifeScope unit. He's been really wanting to kind of learn it. He, know, he knows there's something to it. And it, we just made it happen. First cast. First cast. So I'm going to get mic'd up. We'll get back on another fish, and we'll show you guys a little more of the, uh, the process. But like Dad said, it's kind of cheating. You got, the, you got a flashlight down there. You got a live worm. And... They want that live worm. There's no question about it. So let's go find another hog. We got dad the fighting chair up front. We're gonna deal with some wind here. It's gonna be difficult, but this bay that we're in, there's a lot of walleye that are moving out from spawning and passing through this area. So we should get a lot of opportunities, let's just say. Is that one? That is one, right there. Yeah, you got one right there, right in front. He wanted it. Oh, he's on, he's on your bait. Drop okay. it down. Uh, he might have spooked there. Oh, reel it in, we'll find another one. That was a tough uh, wind situation. It was. Oh, he came right to that thing though. Okay, your bait's going to him, he sees it. Lift up on it, just keep it right above the bottom. Kind of hover it. He refused the crawler. There's two more out here. Okay, you dropping it down? He's hauling something down. Yeah, I'm dropping He's hunting something down. You got him? Oh, I saw him. I, nope, he's on it again. He's on it again. He's got two of them on it. You got him. Oh. He might have taken your worm that time. Yeah. Took your worm. That was a performance issue. Yeah. Had him on twice. Oh, well. Come on, Pop. I know. I know. Yeah. Alright, so are you are you kind of getting the uh, the gist of it though? I am. I I am addicted. Already. See this is this is good for learning because these fish are gonna come 
you don't have to be super accurate. See if you can find one there, Dad. Will. Dad's gonna attempt to find one here. Uh, yeah, it might be. Yeah, that is, I think it is. There you go. Spotted one. Now you gotta stay on him. Oh, they get, you got one right in front of you, too. Right in front of you. Like right here, man. Right? He gets about 12 feet away. That's good right there. Now, pay attention to where this is pointing. Way, way back. Oh, he sees it though. He sees it. He sees it. Just let it sit. He saw that from a long ways away. He sure did. Got him. There, he there you go. Nice job. Yes. Nice job, Pop. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Father's Day scoping with the pot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he feels big too. Yeah, that he, one like looks like a log. Yeah, he, he feels like a log. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh man. Can you imagine when Ted gets this, his hands on this? Oh, oh yeah. How obsessed he's going to be. Oh, he will be. He'll be totally obsessed. <laughs> You're gonna have, oh goodness gracious. There he is. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just biggins. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. <laughs> Look at big walleyes, man. Come here, give me that face. Oh, just missed him. Ah, big nasty ones, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Big old life scope. He, he saw it coming and just went, up, went over and just. Isn't that incredible what you can learn by watching that? Yeah. Patience. You know, you got to learn patience. Yeah, it's just pretty cool. That fish came honestly like eight feet away, just did a beeline right towards it. I, I think it's about the same size. Let's measure it though. I think he is, yeah. Check it out. Let's say he's an inch shorter. Yeah, an inch shorter, maybe? Shorter, but he's sure he's not as fat. He's 20 lower 24. 24, okay. Man, can you imagine the fillets off of this thing? It would be good. Woo! I wish we could, but that one's just way too big. What a beautiful fish. Trophy fishery here at Rainy Lake. Ah. Oh. That was not the best release. <laughs> Sorry. Dad, you just found another one. Yeah. Gotta get a worm on. Giant. Stay on them for you. That is a big one. That's that's a real big one there. All right, All right. I'm gonna go towards it. Go ahead and pitch at that giant there, Dad. Okay, bait's going down. He's going to see it. But, okay, he's going to the bottom. He's going to the bottom. He's going down to it. There he is. Got him. Ah. <laughs> huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yes. That's a big one. I mean, yeah, you could tell on the electronics. Yeah. That's a good one. He's a he's a 25er, I'm sure. He just followed it right down. Can you believe I'm catching these things on it? I can believe, but I'm glad you're you're 
<laughs> you're gaining some faith in the system here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm in now. I am absolutely in. It is a fabulous tool, <laughs> to say the least. Look at this. I'm not making any gains with me. I think this, th this is the biggest signature I think we've seen on the, on the graph. It, was, it seemed to me, it was very thick. Very crystal clear. Yep. Yep. Look at that rod bend. Oh, there's color. <laughs> They're all big ones. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Tree may need to help land. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I can't stop him from going to the other side. There's the grabs. You get Trey to try to grab oh this one. Goodness. Yeah, it's yeah. a good one. Just take your time. That's a big one. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's green. He's not quite ready. Watch those gill plates. Very grippy. There you go. There you go. That's a good one there, Dad. Look at that one. That looks like a snook. Oh my gosh. Over the board. Oh my gosh, it's over the board. 27 incher. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's way over that. This is this is your biggest one ever, Dad. All right. I'm gonna get a uh, measure right here. It's a 28 inch walleye. I want to get a picture on my phone. All right. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, sh he's still there. Frothy, there he goes. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. I tried. Yeah. I tried. 28 inch walleye. That's PB. I mean, my biggest ever last year, 29 and a half. That is not too far off, man. Yeah. That's awesome. The uh, the live worms with the scope. It's a deadly combo for these walleye. Absolutely. And that was really cool because we we saw the big the fish on the graph. Dad made a perfect cast, just followed through beautifully. It was great. It was a great effort, boys, all around, all around. Took all three of us to get that done. Thoughts and feelings. Well, number one, I came out here. I never caught a fish on live scope. All right, I've I've used it and targeted them, saw fish, and then you know caught them but not like this not watching them Eat go the, to the bait that's right yeah. never never done that before uh never experienced it uh we just caught giant walleye i'm an old guy and this electronics is new to me i cannot imagine how good anglers will be using this tool it's just awesome i don't know if eventually they will have a you know some restrictions on this up here because you know it is the from what i've seen targeting these walleye is sort of like targeting crappie where they they sort of behave in the same way you'll see them suspended in the water column they're not moving too quick so they make easy targets for live scope but they don't reproduce like crappie do crappie just are they're prolific spawners and you know they can take a beating um and the main thing that everybody fishes for up here is walleye. And we're just now starting to see a few boats that do have, um, you know, the, the forward facing sonar up here. So it will be interesting to see how, uh, how this develops, but it's legal right now. We got more worms. We got more battery left for the scope. So let's, say, let's try to catch one even bigger.
to the right. Yeah, to the right, 10 feet right here. Got him? Yep. Yep. You're on. There you go. Yeah! Got him. It works, by the way. Live <laughs> scoping on the crawler. Crazy. Really? Crazy. He caught a 28. Yeah. Yeah, I've caught, I've caught the three largest walleye in this. Oh! Came off. Just a jig head, just an eighth ounce jig head. Yeah, I'm going to have to change this jig head. I bet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we just take. No, you just you put, put it, it right on the, on the fish. Yeah. And they come up and get it. It's cool. You can see it all happen. Feels like cheating. Get that <laughs> First cast. You know where they're at, you cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> Following them around. Yeah. yeah. We're playing blind. You guys are cheating. Thanks for the worms too. That makes a big difference. Yeah. The crawler and the old jig head. Uh, the last jig head was a little bent from the, the PB. At least that's what I'm blaming it on. That was a big one there. It was had. big. I know, I wish we got him up for for uh, Captain Ted to see. But we'll get another. A lot of it's this too, guys. You know, we, we threw, we've threw we caught him on plastics doing it, which is really fun. But, you know, about three quarters of them turned it away. And this, I'd say it's 50-50. Yeah, they they either come up and bite it or they come up and sniff it. They're gonna check it out for sure. What is amazing though that I've noticed is they do come a long ways, so it almost sets up for like a trolling bite. They're they're kind of aggressive, but their eyesight is extremely good for this dark tannic water. I'll try that. He's a little dead, a little beat up, a little chewed. I think he'll be all right. Hook point exposure good. All right. Two of them. Pretty close to the tank. It's like 14 feet away now. They're going right towards them. He's, uh, he's right under the boat, basically. 12 feet. Coming right under us. He's out here now. To our right, 10 foot. 10 foot this way. There you go. You're going down. Boy, he went right at it. Either spooked him or he went right at it. Yeah, you had him the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the tug? The tug. It's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I had him the whole time. He came up and got it. And I didn't feel him until I started to move. Oh, yeah. Big boy, eh? Surges. What have we got here? Just a dandy. Oh, yeah. A dandy. Yep, that's going to be the old. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Come off. Come off. It's all right. It's all right. He was too big anyway. Yeah, he was too big. Yeah. You saw how he went right over to it. He had it. Yeah. You just had slack in your line. Well, I was trying to get it to the bottom. He ate it before he got it. Yeah, me one located. Let's see if I can do the math here. Come 
might might have one moving towards it. Got him. There he is. Oh gosh, is that a smallmouth? It's a smallmouth. What in the world? Just scoped an offshore smallie. What are you doing out here? Well, you know, smallies got to eat too. How are they going to resist a, a crawler? All right. Smallmouth. Wouldn't be a day on Randy without that. See my guy? Man, got one. Good one right under the trolling motor. Might just try to worm up real quick. Try to get him. Oh yeah, got him, boy. Got him. Oh, he broke my line. Oh, God, he took my worm. Feeling pretty juicy there, boys. Worm scope. Oh, just a dandy. Oh, he's yeah, he's probably gonna be around that 20 mark. See what he's doing that is a uh, 20 and a half boys he is not gonna do but man what a crazy fish scoping him up into the zone here on this guy oh yeah come on fresh worm fresh worm he's got it there we go. Yep. Sure did. Looks like a good one. Looked like a good one on the scope. I think they're all good ones here in Rainy. Just saw the boat. Not that big. He's nice though, he's probably at 20. Gnarly looking. They do look like alligator looking though. Just got that worm sideways in his mouth. Another walleye, 21, 21 incher. Ah, look at these fish, just toothy critters. 
Gotta love them though. Gotta love them. The other one on the same worm. Literally the same worm. Just dropped it right back down. Ah, look at that. Different fish, same program. 20 and a half. Another just clone 20 and a half incher. My gosh. Got to love it. Got to love Randy Lake. Live scoping with live worms. That's a recipe for success. I had to do it, y'all. Had to catch a couple. And it was very difficult to run the trolling motor at one hand with this, the pole, and then have the fishing reel all in the same thing. It was very, very difficult. I think dad has got the fever. So you got off the scope and didn't catch any. What yeah. happened there? I know, I didn't catch a single one. <laughs> Awesome day on the water. Awesome day. All right, Dad, what did you think about catching walleye, learning some scope tactics? <clears throat> well, electronics is not my thing. Um, but after today, I may be addicted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you know, I caught the three biggest walleye of my life in about 30 minutes using that technique. And, you know, I just can't say enough. Just giants, a 28 incher. Another awesome day in the Northwoods, guys. Perfect ending to the perfect day. We even saw a bear swimming on the way in. Saw a bear early this morning trying to get into the trash shed in the back and a bear swimming across. This trip's just special truly special we got something really cool unique some would say special coming up uh, that we're doing tomorrow something i've never done before it's going to be land-based it's pretty unique for up here and i want to take you guys along so stay tuned subscribe to the channel make sure to smash that like button for greatness in the outdoors we'll see you on the next one